Yeah, Kevin and Jennifer, completely different scene right now. As you look behind me, about an hour ago, this parking lot was packed, filled with cars and family members. Well, this is a good sign because all the cars, all the family members are gone, and that means that they are home and back on dry land. I want to start off with a picture that a passenger on that boat sent us. Her name was Angel Logan. She showed us the picture, and you can see how the boat is, looks like it's just sitting on an island. And she said that's what it felt like when they were out there. They said around nine o'clock last night they knew that they hit something strange because they felt the boat shake and one of the problems that they said that they had on the boat they said the crew treated them well but the issue that they had was the lack of transparency between the crew and the um, passengers on the ship they said for about two hours when before they knew that rocking happened they knew something was wrong but the crew did not tell them that they actually hit a sandbar and it wasn't until around 11 o'clock last night that they knew what was going on another um, thing that they brought up to me that the captain told them that the sandbars were not on the map. It was kind of a unforeseen thing that they saw. They didn't expect to hit it and that's why um, it happened. Now they also went on and told me that they didn't um, reach out to the Coast Guard until this morning and she said another issue that they had is that they told passenger and crew last night that they were in talks with the um, Coast Guard but here's some sound of some passengers shortly after they got off the boat today. Very scary, harrowing, harrowing in every syllable of that word. Because to get off of that boat, see all of that water out there, my Lord, there was a beach. The only dry land that I know of that water just left was the parting of the Red Sea. And we weren't <laughs> there. There was mud, it was quicksand, it was harrowing. and a lot of different emotions. We have some people who are angry, some people who are distraught, and some people who are just happy that everything worked out in their favor in the long run. Now, passengers also told me that the owners were on that boat, but throughout this whole ordeal, they never came out to acknowledge the passengers on the boat. That's another issue a lot of passengers were very upset about that. Neither of the owners came out to acknowledge what happened or address them to reassure them what was going on. That falls back on that transparency issue that they they were having with with the lines of communications on knowing what was going on they did tell me that their saving grace was the Coast Guard they say once the Coast Guard got out there everything went efficiently it went very smoothly and they knew that they were in safe hands but overall they're just happy to be back they're happy to be able to get some fresh air and get home and get some rest because this has definitely been a long 24 hours for these passengers but we're going to have more on this story tonight on WJCO news at 10 and 11 you'll hear from those passengers you'll hear from those family members on how they camped out out here all afternoon waiting for those passengers to make it back on safe ground but for now reporting on wilmington island ashley lincoln for wjco news working for you all right thank